All right, hello, welcome to the Center of Math. Um, this is the first part of a video series all about um, the statistical math of the NFL. So around now, the NFL season um, is kicking off, and that means there are going to be a lot of numbers um, each week by commentators, coaches, and players alike. Um, and so we're going to take a deeper dive into these numbers and figure out what they all mean and how we can um, interpret them. Um, so in this series, we'll be talking about um, stats such as passer rating, DVOA, and DYAR. Um, and then we will focus on win, pro or win expectations um, for a season, which seems we can expect to improve, who overperform and underperform. And finally, we'll talk about uh, win probability and how we can use statistics uh, to calculate it. So the first part of the series is on passer rating. So there are a lot of statistics used to um, gauge quarterback performance, um, completion percentage, touchdowns, interceptions. Um, that makes it um, hard to evaluate um, with one nice number. And so the typical solution used is passer rating. Um, so we'll take a look at two example players and figure out which one is better using this formula. So you can see we have two hypothetical players, uh, A and B. And so A has, few, has thrown fewer passes, um, with fewer yards, fewer touchdowns, and fewer interceptions. Um, and player B has more yards and touchdowns, but he's thrown more interceptions. And he's completed a lower percentage of the passes. Um, so passer rating would seek, will seek to understand uh, roughly which one is better. Um, so the formula is as follows. Uh, so this is the formula of pass rating all written out. Um, step by step walking through it. Um, we take the um, completion percentage um, which is C over A, multiply that by 100 to get the percentage, subtract 30, multiply it by um, 120th, um, then we add um, the yards per attempt, um, subtract 3 from this and multiply the result by 0.25. Um, then we look at touchdowns per attempt, um, we find that percentage, multiply it by 0.2, um, and then we look at um, the interception percentage, um, we multiply that by, we find the percentage, um, subtract it from 2.375, multiply that by uh, 0.25. Um, and so after we do all that, uh, we divide everything by 6 and multiply it by 100. Um, so now we'll look. Um, at these two players, um, plug in some numbers and figure out which one um, ends up coming out on top. Um, so as you can see, we've plugged in the numbers here. Um, for each of the players. And now all I have to do is to figure out uh, the sum total or the totals um, for each of these. Um, so when you plug all these in, uh, you see that player A ends up having a pass rating of 88.28. And player B has a passer rating of 84.06. Um, so this isn't a perfect statistic, um, but I'm looking at the numbers. We can see that player A is more efficient. And even though he doesn't pass for as many yards per attempt, he makes up for it by completing his passes and not throwing interceptions. Um, we hope this video explained passer rating uh, fairly well. Um, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Check out the Center of Math website, centerofmath.org. And be sure to check out the other videos on this series. Thank you.